Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements and today we've got this nice French dresser that we're gonna bring back to life. So stay tuned. All right, overall, this piece is structurally sound, but it is worn out. We've got some spots on the top that need to be sanded out. This drawer's got markers on it. Overall, good condition, but we're gonna sand it down. We're gonna paint it, a, it's called Very Navy uh, Blue. We're gonna take all the hardware off here, sand it down, paint it, scuff it up just a bit for that vintage look. We'll wax it, and well, we're gonna turn this piece from what it looks like now into a gorgeous, piece that anybody would love to have in their house. So let's get started by removing the hardware and checking the subframe. Drawers are pulled out, everything looks like it's in pretty good condition. It is pretty dirty, but we don't really have to worry about that at this point because we're going to vacuum it all up after we sand this down. Now what we're going to do with the flat areas is we're going to use our DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. So the tops, the sides, parts of the front here. Then we're going to take that paper off and then we're going to have to hand sand most of this stuff that isn't flat. So the fronts of the drawers. We can do the fronts of the inner drawers because they're flat and the back side of the the uh, door but then we'll have to go hand sand everything else so it's gonna be pretty quick with this and then we can switch it over let's get this top taken care of and then we can work our way down Everything is vacuumed and wiped down. Now we can start painting. So I got my bare priming paint here. It's eggshell. The color is called Very Navy. It's very popular too. So we're gonna keep using it. Now we're gonna pull all the drawers out. We're gonna paint all them twice. Do the back of this drawer twice. We'll do the frame. We'll flip this over and do the uh, front of it while we're doing the frame. So two coats. I got my Wooster short handle angle brush. I love it. About five bucks at uh, Home Depot and they work really well. So let's get started. It is done painting, two coats. Now at this point, you could leave it solid blue and progress to sealing it. But for us, 
well, we like that farm vintage look, so we're going to scuff it up. And what I got is the old sandpaper that I used to scuff this all down. And well, we're going to use it again to scuff this up. Now, you can kind of pick your own variety of scuffs, marks, things like that. For this one, I think I'm going to focus more on just edge work and corner work here. But we'll kind of go over the whole piece just to give it a little duller look, which will bring it back to life once we start waxing it. So let's get started. Old 80 grit sandpaper, everything's got to be done. start waxing it so they so got the very thin natural finishing wax got an old sock here and well we're just gonna go over this piece give it a nice seal what it'll do is make it look wet again get rid of all these uh, uh, dull marks in it and it's gonna look pretty cool at the end so let's get started Here it is completed. Very navy blue. We used bare priming paint uh, in eggshell. Two coats. We scuffed it down, gave it a vintage look, and well, the end result, well, speaks for itself, I think. From start to finish, quite the transformation. If you like any of our projects, <laughs> definitely subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook and Instagram, and well, leave us a comment. We always like reading those nice comments about our products here. And well, I'm excited to see this in somebody's house soon. <laughs>